And we are back! Let's try this one more time! You know, do they really even... Do they even really have fucking, like, water oh. skippers on, on actual, like, beach fronts? I always oh. thought it was still water. Do they water. allow it? Do they... <laughs> not allow it? <laughs> not allow it. I meant, like, the little pond skippers, the little water surface. They hold the surface tension of the water and they, they yeah. run across it. Do they even have that on areas that don't just have still water? I don't know. You know, because those enemies were running around and, and they were they're little green dudes. Hmm. And they were hanging out on the surface tension of the water and they were going around as the little, little rock guys. And I don't know. I did. I've always, I've always seen them on it. Regardless, fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm not getting anywhere with this fucking explanation. No. no. The uh, the point where I was getting that was that those little bugs. I don't think they they are native to the uh, not still waters. Oh, okay. I understand what you're saying now. Yeah, I think they. Oh no! Yeah, they're not native to the ocean. That's some, know. that's some horse shit. I think they were just looking for fucking. Uh, this is how war started, man. Yeah. What are fucking robots? Yeah. Robot war. It's, it's all the rage. Robot furry war. The fucking so, animals and people getting. Dan Avedon had a really great statement uh, from Game Grumps. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, man, back when I was a kid, I would see Robin and go like, man, that's awesome. Wait. And now he would say what? Robin Hood, like the Disney. Oh, Robin version. Hood, yeah. Interesting, okay, yeah. like, man, this is cool. And now all of a sudden, it makes sense now. What you're I'm a fucking about. weirdo. Yeah, no. I used to just see anthropomorphic characters, and they would be fucking endearing. Now I'm, I've got a fucking finish and a problem. Yeah, now I'm the issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I get that 100. percent Well, it's because all of our fucking childhood was fed to us through fucking anthropomorphic characters. Not saying I'm a furry or anything like that, but like... Not that there's anything I, wrong with that. That, uh... A lot of our childhood was based around anthropomorphic characters. Yeah. And they're like, what, where did we fuck up our children? How did we fucking mess them up? It's like, well, I don't know. Like, not to, not to say that we're messed up, but... I don't know. Maybe it was the fucking stuff you fed us in, in, for media. Like, maybe it was the fucking... All of the anthropomor anthropomorphic fucking... Animals and characters. Goddamn Bugs Bunny was a crossdresser. You want to mention that? Like, yeah. come on. Bugs, my hero. Goddamn Bugs Boy. Um, do you want to ride this guy? I you, think. Mm. So it's definitely uh, if you stay under the pillar, or if you see the pillar in the background. Oh, I remember what I can do to this guy. Oh, yeah. Whee! Oh, it does some damage. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. It does everything. This is a little bit of damage. You, you fucking, you kind of got him. You just got him. So I think you. And get out. Yeah, that's it. Wait. Wait. So, where's the natural progression? What do you mean? Ah, uh, ah, uh, spikes. Uh, where's the natural progression of the level? Oh, it's above. This is a secret, so you have to jump oh, up. Oh, so then you need to climb, climb your way up? You have to ride that little um, turbulent thing all the way up to the air to like water to get this thing to come down so that way it crashes through the level uh -huh. so that you can get down I'm, to this I'm, little I'm with you area. so far. I didn't know that there was something up here. That's what I'm saying. And I believe there's another thing. Is Maybe not. Yep, there's a beautiful sunset. And this stuff used to be all electrified, and except when you beat Spark Mandrel, it kind of goes, uh... Are you sure you're not the villain? You're destroying entire ecosystems and habitats. Right. What the fuck is... Oh. Oh. You missed them. I missed. You need to get them on a clear horizontal plane of existence. <clears throat> oh. What I was going to say earlier when I was mentioning um, the uh, the water skippers, the yeah. bugs. The, uh, there exists a species of uh, water bugs. You know, like the little paddle bugs? They look like they have, like, little oars for their, their arms. Yeah. There's a the fucking species that's similar to them that... Wait, is that the... What? Sorry, continue. Straight up, like, eats meat and attacks other bugs and shit. They're, like, full-on fucking underwater predators. They're called toe biters in some, uh... I think I heard of those. In some... Yeah, they're, they're water beetles or water bugs. But, like, they will actually, like, draw blood on human beings. And they Ooh. will, like, hunt other... They will hunt, like... Goddamn frogs and shit. Bugs! We'll hunt frogs! And like fish and shit. That's what? just wrong! Wanna talk about nature being scary? Nature. Ticks. Nature, you scary. Nature is scary. 
What, what about what about ticks? Just ticks, just ticks in general. Like, oh hey, you probably get a tick bite. It's gonna suck. It won't be that bad. Or you could get Lyme disease or all these other diseases. Cause ticks carry them. You're like, <laughs> diseases are scary. Diseases are scary. The bugs aren't. Diseases, diseases are. are. The diseases yeah. scare the diseases. shit out of them. Diseases. It's a hard one. Now see, diseases. you would think electricity underwater. Good idea. No. Why? Is it not? It's not. Does it hurt you? Oh look, he's got arms in back of him. Oh, okay, he's got one whole extra- Oh god, piranhas! Why? He's sending the piranhas at you! Why this power works? I don't know. What, what is that? The armadillo why, power? Yeah, why is rolling? Why is an armadillo beat an octopus? The world may never know. I mean, is it really beating them? Like how much you're you're getting this? your booty- you're getting your booty kicked. God damn this guy, does he ever stop attacking? Nope, that's why you want the friggin' power up. Jesus, how are you supposed to dodge that shit? Oh god, no! He's sucking you dry! This is where my vor fucking fetish came through, and why I'm a, why I'm a vor filled furry. That's this is exactly it. Right here, this is why I like tentacles and vor and all that other shit. God damn, you better fucking bust ass on him quick, buddy. Cause I don't have anything left! Oh no! Don't use fire, I'll tell you that. Probably use storm and hope you get a clear line. Well, you know, sometimes mm. you win, sometimes you, you lose. lose, and sometimes you me. And sometimes you Sam, and you just you go you fight just the fucking fuck. piranha vor furry goddamn tentacle <sighs> man. Oh well, let's try this again. Yeah, I mean, good luck. Let's just not use the firepower. Ah, oh, Jesus, he just fucking straight up right off the bat, like... Yeah, that really does no damage, huh? It's like three ticks of his health bar. Jesus Christ, but it does, it kind of acts as a defense if you don't jump up. Yeah. If you hang out inside of it, it kind of stops his attacks from hitting you. God damn this guy! God damn this guy! Woo, buddy! Um... Would you ever touch an octopus, like, real life? Like, would you ever, like, be like, oh, hey, let your little sucker thing, sucker doodles, like, touch me? Oh. I would never do it. I could never do it. I don't, I don't, I don't, oh, God! He was about to eat your insides. I could never let him fucking touch me, man. I'd be afraid. Like, some of the bigger ones have, like, teeth in their, in the insides of their, like, uh, section -y cup thingies. They're, oh, God, it's just creepy. Like, it, 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 it. It goofs me up. I don't like goofs it. Goofs you up? It goofs me up. I don't like it. Like, my, my body just cringes. It's no, well, you also I, don't like needles, so that's not too surprising. But I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want, like, cookie-cutter huh. fucking things coming into my arms and biting me and, and yeah, shit. Yeah, this guy's a lot harder without the power-up. Yeah, you're fucking telling me. It's, kind of, it's a little bit more difficult. So, essentially, since you used it, does that mean you have to leave and then, like, rebuild up? Yeah, it means I gotta come back to the level, because there's no way to leave this little area once you're fighting him. Uh-huh. You kind of get one shot with the power up, and then that's that it. Fucking sucks. And then his ass just fires fucking shit all over the place. God damn! It's like it's it's not even like not even fair. Nope. Like how are you supposed to beat his ass? He shoots homing shit at you in the air, and then he shoots homing shit on the ground, and then he sucks you into his goddamn fucking. Cell saga tentacle things that just absorb all your manhood out of you. Yes, they do. Some weird octopus succubus fucking leech hybrid thing. That does nothing. Uh, yeah, you've done zero damage to him. You might as well just be using Mega Blaster, Mega Mega Man, Mega Hand Blast. You, you might as well just hand him off. Oh god, he's gonna absorb all your robot powers. Yeah, shit. he just throws so much at you. That would be a shitty concept. If you lost against the boss and then he gained some of your powers. <laughs> so next time you try and fight him on that, man. Get on that, guys. I bet you, that'd be a great game. He's harder. It's like Mega oh, Man, man Hardcore. That would suck. <laughs> So do you want to fight? You want to fight Tentacle Bro? Tentacle Bro? I'm trying to remember if there's a. Yeah, he's the next guy to beat. I just got it. I almost had him that time. I didn't play it smart though. All right. Do you, uh, you think you're gonna get enough of your stuff back before? Like. Oh, you, you get it all some? back now. Oh, oh, oh! Once you so come just back, like a, yeah, okay. I just gotta reset it. Now, now I'm good to go. Oh. Um, so now gotta... you just need to avoid going down underwater. Yes. Um, okay. 
I just need to kind of clear my way through these guys, and I should be solid. Minimal damage. Don't use your power up on the first time fighting them because you're going to be down on health. Exactly. Try and build up some HP. Yeah. Get myself some HP tanks. I get ya. And then I should be good to go. Oh, so you don't you don't restart with full HP tanks in your no. in your pause button? No, you got to earn them. So one thing that I would love to do and here is you just kill these guys. Yeah, because they respawn as soon as you step off. Yeah, they instantly respawn. And they're um. usually a great way to kind of build up energy tanks. So wait, when your health is full, it just goes into reserve? Is that yes, what is that that's what it how it works. Okay. I thought you needed to find specific, like, oh, this is your reserve energy. I get you. Something cool they did in uh, Enter the Gungeon recently with a new yeah. DLC is that if you find hearts, but you're already full health, during that level, because there's five levels in, in the area, essentially, in the most basic form of the game, um, you, can, you can put them into, like, a gumball machine, and the gumball machine will show up near the end of the level or in mm -hmm. the shop, and you can just be like, boop, and take extra health that you've gathered up throughout the level to, to kind of re-get. It's essentially a, uh, uh, an energy tank, just like in this game. That's nifty. Um, but yeah, they didn't have that before, so it makes it a lot, not a lot easier, but it, it's definitely... It makes it a bit more fair. It, it gives it a little bit more of a handicap. Say if you play the entire level without getting hit and then you go fight the boss and get hit twice, you may have found two extra little hearts throughout the level. Or, you know, the little half hearts throughout the level and then, you know, then you could be at full health to start the next level. Nice. It's fucking, it's awesome. I like how they did that. They did a lot of- Oh, no! Mm. They did a lot of quality of life changes in Enter the Gungeon. Oh, baby, why? Okay. Well, I mean, Capcom? Mega Man. I mean, I, I think it's self-explanatory. Okay, and now he's gonna push you, probably. So you're gonna have to, like, wait to jump. Oh, jeez! Now he's doing... He gives that good mm -hmm. suck! Now he's gonna do the push? You're there's, right. There's, like, no indicator. No, there's not. Oh, God! You just have to kind of, like, sit, keep your... Ah! Uh, keep yourself center. More than anything, huh? I forgot how much I hate this guy. Which is why I just cheat him. How do you cheat him? Just use the special ability? Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, if you just have to get past him to get to the boss, then yeah, just just goof him. But then you don't have any sub T's. Yeah, but I can build that up. Between here and the boss? Yeah. Okay. Well, fucking do it then, buckaroo. Goddamn. Maybe. Goddamn. Or maybe not. Yeah, goddamn. I thought you did more damage with the regular you blaster. Do. You do. Ugh. I'm bad at this game, guys. Sorry. I think you just out of practice. Maybe a little bit. This is where it starts to get a little bit harder because these guys are a bit more difficult. I used to have trouble with that when I was a kid. Not all the time, but not as much trouble as I'm having right now with it. Like, I think I was telling Mike when we were talking about retro games as kids, mm -hmm. we had a lot less games as kids. So you can spend time to really Just practice really and learn them and yeah. refine like your styles. Know exactly where enemies are, what power-ups to use exactly on them, when they'll show up on the frame, you know, essentially. But now it's like, oh shit, I haven't touched this in like four years. I have a, the vaguest idea on how to get through it, but that's not enough for games like this. To have a, the vaguest idea, you know? Yeah. You, you need, need to have practice. like spot on uh, knowledge about what's popping up in order to have most of the ability to dodge or block or even battle some of this stuff. Like, uh, like if, if I came in and played this game, I wouldn't know what fucking power-ups to have. And I'd be like, this game is way too fucking hard. And people are like, oh, you just need to know the power-ups. Oh, so there's a trick to it. Okay. I get it. But if you didn't know that as an adult... I did remember that you can kid. fire quicker if you mash it harder. Um, yeah. so there is that. I'll just, just give it the full mashies. I do remember when I was playing this, Mike had one of those, like, super controllers. Oh, turbo controller? Turbo controller, yeah. So you could just straight up be like, and just fucking have it firing at maximum speed. Cheater. Yeah, well, I mean, hey man, I'd never had a turbo controller, but he had one where you, like, hit the button, and then, um, watch out those spikes. Just be wary of it, of your jumpy jumps. Ah! Um, you could, ah, you could, um, like, mash on the fucking shoot button and then 
turn the... It was like an on and off switch. Essentially, it was a toggle switch, if I remember correctly. Um, you could toggle it and essentially be like... It, it would it would just repeat ad infinitum, infinitum the button that you were pressing at the time that you toggled the switch. So you could just have it max firing these little things. And that's how I always remember getting through the first stages. Okay, now I remember. I just mashed through him as fast as I possibly can, and then yeah. just go. Okay, cool. Not gonna deal with this guy. I was gonna say the one, the the one time you went through him real quick when you were behind him. Yeah. You were using just the regular Buster. Yeah, it seems to be that's the only great way of taking him down. Oop, don't touch the fucking spiky spikes. But they're my ex-girlfriend, man. I no. Gotta, I gotta, I gotta get. Oh funded. God! Now the mortars. More mortars. Oh God. That Mega Man fucking animation where he's like, ah! like he's coming, <laughs> like his head flips back and he's just like, ah! everything's bad. Yeah. All right, where are you at? Come on, Snake. He's creature. coming up below you to the right, I think. I think he pops up. Oh, never mind. It's just random then. Boom! You got him. You blew his fucking <laughs> bloody head off. So, uh, how many, how many tanks do you got? How much power do you got? Not yeah, much. Not much. Well, you get the boss coming up ahead, right? Can you shoot those guys before, or you just gotta wait until you're inside of them? Yeah, you gotta... Well, you can shoot them before. Like, you pre-shoot them? Yes. Oh, God! One to the other! They're baby burden you! Oh, no! <laughs> That's that slow draw in. And I can... I guess I could farm them for a little bit to get a little bit of health. I was gonna say, you made it this far, how many lives do you even have? Oh god. You go directly into their fucking map. You're, you're getting into negative health now. Yeah. Um. I have two lives. Yeah. I'm trying to get a little bit of health. Yeah. I might be able to go further back. I think you have to jump fully off the cliffside, right? Don't you? Uh, That's a significant ways back. Yeah. Without it is. new enemies. I don't know if it's exactly a uh, farming type of type of area. No, I was hoping these guys, because if I remember right, yeah, but they don't—they aren't given anything, huh? I would you fuck cheeky with them, little fox. You might just have to fucking go for the bad boy then. Do they not give anything because you're killing them with power? Powers or? No, I think they're just cheap. They just don't have anything. Oh. Why, Capcom? Why? All right. Well, we're just gonna have to well, go ahead and use your game. Buster uh, tank or whatever your fill tank. Yeah, just use my. Old. I'm just gonna go with this regular because I've got two lives. So I got this chance and I got the next chance. Okay. Save your save your stuff for the next chance. All right, launch octopus. I know what you got, but I, I really don't want it. I, I kind of want to stay away. Oh God. Just just give him the full blasties. Um, I remember what I was gonna say now that you're fighting him. Uh, yeah. You eat, uh, I know you eat sushi and stuff. Yeah. Do you, uh, have you ever had calamari? I believe I have. I'm not sure. Usually when I order sushi, I just... Gen well, generally, generally, it's not a sushi thing. You'll, um, you'll know it because it'll be like little deep fried rings for the most part. Uh-huh. Um, they're almost like... Uh, they almost kind of have like the consistency of noodles, but chewy. I think I've had calamari. Um, it's very, it's very chewy if it's overcooked, which generally is the case because most people overcook seafood because they're like, oh god, seafood, you're gonna really get. You're gonna get mercury poisoning. You're gonna fucking die if it's anywhere near the acceptable fucking FDA level. Um. Shit, man, it might actually be better just to use Buster for a little bit and then... No, no, you're so close! I've got, like, nothing. Oh, no, might as well use your powers now, then. Right? He's so close, look at him. Look at him. Go for it now! Yes! One... Oh, God, you might have to, like... Is there a quick swap between Buster and regular shield? Or button, Buster and regular shield. Uh, Buster and R shield? So, like, R shield and then swap to Buster and then just go full fire? Buster! Or, uh, not Buster, our shield. One more, buddy, one more! I believe in you! Woo! <laughs> yeah, you'll know if you have Cal. I'll show you a picture of Calamari. Oh, yeah, I episodes. think I've had it before. I've had eel and other different types of Japanese foods other than just sushi. I actually um, think Calamari is, uh, not explicitly Japanese. Oh, um, I think it, I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. Everywhere I've had calamari, it was always just like a seafood restaurant, not a mm, not a Japanese, not specifically a Japanese yeah, restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. 
Oh, they get my heart racing. Thank you. Anyway, we will see you guys next time. Yeah. Beep up boop. There's a free passcode for you guys if you want to get if past you wanna, that yeah. hard boss. If you want to just <laughs> cheat and be like when I was a kid and sometimes you go on GameFAQs and be like, dude, what was the code? Yeah. What, what, what's Where the it's number? All, it's all text-based. Yeah. And you're like, oh, shit. Like, Which is funny because... And they basically write a textual version of how to fight them. It's like, what? Yeah, we would do that years <laughs> later.